and then magic will happen. Hey guys, today I'm going to be working on Teeter Top, my Audi TT project car. For all you new folk, click on the link up above and I'll get you caught up on this project car. And for everybody else, this is not part four of the last video where I put the engine back together on the TT. But today I am going to start the car for the first time since I put the engine back together on the TT. But it's not part four because I didn't make that video four parts. <laughs> so I'm here with Aaron from 802 Garage. He's driving cross country and just stopping and visiting other YouTubers along his journey. And he's here in Arizona right now before he departs to head to California and then up to Washington. And he came all the way from Vermont, so. All the way from the 802. Crazy drive, all on a $350 rusted out Subaru Impreza. Let's see wire. What? Oh, you can see my riding harness. Sarah keeps looking at my car and just shaking her head, and then and, and then I feel okay about life. <laughs> I'm so amazed that car has made it though. Last night, Aaron and I worked on the TT just a little bit. I didn't really film anything; just kind of got some B-roll. Basically, we got the front bumper and the headlights mounted back up on the car, which. It was a lot of like moving around brackets and stuff because I was trying to do a better job lining it up. So I haven't started the car yet since putting the engine back together and I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie right now, but I need to start it up so that way I can bleed out the coolant because it definitely has a ton of air in there right now. So, all right, yeah, goes nothing. Oof, time to start in the car. I don't know why I'm so scared. Like, I put so much effort in to make sure I did it correctly. I'm still, like, so nervous. I think, I don't know. Oh, God. to the auto parts store for me real quick because I forgot that I drained all the power steering fluid on the TT. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fluid. All right. So I went to the auto parts store this morning and I got a thing of like this black plastic JV weld. It dries black. And I'm gonna take the backing plate for the grill for the Audi rings. And I broke out all the little tabs on this backing plate since they did not match up whatsoever to the Audi rings. And now I can pop the Audi rings in there just fine. And it actually kind of stays in place a little bit. But as you can see, you can see like holes around the outside of the Audi rings. It kind of looks like crap. So I'm going to fill the back side of the backing plate with this black JB weld around all the tabs for the ring. So that way it holds it in place and it doesn't show those little gaps. So yeah, I'll do that. And then I should be able to mount the grill on the car. Custom, fully custom. Okay. I'm using a buttload of zip ties on this thing right now because it's going to act as my clamp to hold this thing in place. 
as I put the JB Weld on there. Logo is on there. I zip tied the hell out of it. So it's nice and flush and flat and it's fairly even all the way around. While I put the JB Weld in all these little areas right here and join these two pieces together. Time to JB Weld. So I'm filling up the power steering right now and it looks like the previous owner of this car put the wrong power steering fluid in here. They put the um, yellow power steering fluid, not the European Audi Volkswagen formula, which is green. So my power steering reservoir right now looks absolutely horrible. And now I gotta try to like pump all this stuff out and put new fluid in there. It is disgusting. Oh my god. That's bad. Wow. Yeah, so fresh fluid is definitely in order. I cannot. Look at the fluid that came out of there. That is absolutely disgusting. And that was after adding like at least half the system capacity of new fluid. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna cycle the power steering some more, keep turning it back and forth, the wheel back and forth, and hopefully I can keep pumping out the old nasty fluid that's in there. So if this power steering pump is trash, I don't really care. I'll get a new one for it. But let's see, hopefully maybe I can save this one. That'd be nice. That is so gross. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I wonder how nasty it looks. Yep. It's still all cavitated, but it's less foamy than it was. Last time it was bubbles. This time it's like little tiny bubbles. Yeah. All right. Suck all this stuff out. Yep. <laughs> that, I cannot believe that. Tasty. This smells horrible. It does. It's really burnt. All right. Here goes bottle number two. Chances are you're flushing out some trash too, though. You know what I mean? Like just. Yeah. All right. I mean, that looks a lot better. Now let's start it and see how disgusting it looks again. This still sounds absolutely horrible. I'm gonna drive it and see. I'm wondering if it just needs a new power steering pump. That sucks. That fluid was so gross that was in there. I can't believe it. Meanwhile, while I was working on that stuff, this was getting hard. Um, so I think it's time for me to bust off these zip ties because should be ready for me to mount this on the grill. So, cutting the zipping ties. One tie, ah, ah, ah. That'd actually be like five ties. Six ties, ah, ah, ah. Number of ties, ah, ah, ah. Oh, it seems like it's sticking so far. That's a plus. Yeah, it's good and hard. Just the way I like it. Now I can mount this on the, the grill itself. And then put the grill on the front of the car and take the car for a drive. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would make that one center. Because then I'd have one, two, three, four, five. Zippy tie. Just like that. That looks good. Just like that. The other? I think that's perfect. Hey! 
I'm excited. All right, time to put this on the front of my car. It's a moment of truth. Please don't break. Please don't break. All right. Oh man, it just doesn't fit with a damn. It fits horribly. Yeah, it probably looks great on camera, but if you look up close, there is a huge gap up here at the top. It's like really, really bad. And then down here at the bottom, it's like not even locked in. Like it won't stay locked in. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, this thing was only $50 and the one I really wanted was like 250, I think. I forgot who makes it, it's like T-Tech or LL Tech or something. They make a really nice one. So I can't really expect it to be the best fitting grill for how much I paid for it. But I mean, I think this thing might even just fall out while I'm driving down the road, that kind of sucks. But speaking of driving down the road, Aaron's leaving. Bye. He's driving down the road now to California. Yep, in my rusty 93 Impreza, but Sarah's been super lovely and, and letting me stay here. And it was really fun to see her cool cars, the Mr. Dose, JDM Swag number two. That was an awesome ride. And uh, the TT is doing a lot better than before I got here. Yeah. So maybe I helped you and did. did some things. So I, I'm a great hostess, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. I think the coolant is 100% bled now. The power steering reservoir is full. I don't know how this power steering pump is doing though. Well, there's definitely some air bubbles in the coolant because my temp gauge is fluctuating quite a bit. It's not running hot, but it's fluctuating. So I gotta make sure I finish bleeding out the rest of the air bubbles in the system. Power steering pump is still making whining noises. It's getting better, but I don't know. So what I'm doing right now is I'm letting the car run and I have the lid on the coolant system loose so that way all the air in the system can purge out a lot easier. And I also have the heat on high so that way it circulates all the coolant through the heater core as well. And as of now, the coolant gauge has normalized. It's staying nice and steady. It doesn't look like there's that much more bubbles coming out. And on top of that, my power steering system is quiet. It's not making any more noise. So it looks like all the air has bled out of that system. So I really just had to let the car sit here and run for a while. Another thing I don't understand, and maybe it's because it's in limp mode because the check engine light is on right now, but it's kind of cycling like on and off. Like the RPMs come up to like a thousand, they drop back down to like 600, then they go up to a thousand, it keeps going up, down, up, down. And when it's doing that, it's cycling the cooling fan on, off, on, off. And I think that's why I'm also having trouble getting it to normalize at idle if I don't have the HVAC turned on so I have the coolant going through the heater course. I'm still so bummed about this grill though, because it looks so good. It just fits so horribly. I don't want my grill to fall off while I'm driving. Maybe I can do a little bit of custom work and make it work. Okay, so, hi, hello. How was the camera just all of a sudden recording on its own when I came in the garage? All right. I did a little bit of research on the cooling system in this car and basically there's a high and a low speed for the fan and because my fan keeps going high then nothing and then high then nothing it's because there's no low speed right now on my fans so the computer is trying to compensate by going high speed then off then high speed then off. Under hood fuses. It's under here. Well that's obvious. Wow. That looks like absolute crap. That's horrible. I wonder what the circuit that's for. Kapow! I went and got some baking soda at the store real quick. So I'm gonna use this stuff. I'm gonna make a watery, pasty solution. And then I'm gonna dunk the corroded, disgusting electrical wire into the solution and then magic will happen. It's about the best way I can describe that.
probably should get a new connector. Cut this one back and put a new one on there because this is pretty bad. I almost feel like I should probably be using vinegar to do this instead of water. I don't have regular household vinegar, but I have apple cider vinegar because I'm healthy like that. A little bit more, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Eat that corrosion away. You can see that wire is so heavily corroded that I definitely just need to cut it back or potentially I might need to replace the entire wire itself because it's so bad. But I mean, this is just temporary until I can order a new terminal because I don't have one of these and they'll probably be kind of hard to find one like that in an auto parts store. sort of forgot to record an ending to this video last night. Sorry, I got hungry. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do a little bit more research on the TT, figure out this low speed fan circuit, see if it's like a resistor or a relay that could potentially be bad. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.